<laughs> it's okay though. Um, that's, that's why we're here. We're, we're here to learn. Even if you make um, like not so good decisions, whether it's your fault or not, we're here to uh, try to correct them and see what we can do better. Right. But yeah, definitely this comp together isn't the most optimal. You guys don't have a way to actually have any sustained damage and to punish them as well. Like it's all just poke, poke, and poke. And especially against URL EDC, it's actually going to be very difficult to be able to brush them down or do any damage because of the fact that it's mostly poke. But yeah, Hanzo is worse in a way, but it's more of a skill shot. Burst, it's like a crummy, but with yeah, arrows. It's like <laughs> exactly. So it's a little bit difficult for him, and that's why Jane and Hanzo don't really pair well together. But some people always take Hanzo as their mage instead sometimes. People think the Hanzo is sustained instead of like pokes or, or mage. I mean, he can be both depending on how you kill him, to be honest. You can make him into the auto type build, which is really good sustain damage, depending if you're playing as a comp that lets mm. you do that, or you can play him as um, burst and uh, poke as well. Right, well, but he burst. actually was uh, when W, so he didn't win out attack. Mm -hmm. So I think Hans is one of the best assassins in the game because he can just adapt and revolve around um, all his build styles. Uh, yeah, I, I really do not know how this map works, so I'm gonna mainly focus on team fighting here, okay? Alright. What I know about this map is that this map have a lot of cam, so the DAs try to do as much scans as they can before the objective without losing any experience in the lane. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this map wasn't in rank. No, it's not in rank. Um, nobody ever plays this map. <laughs> Just in time for the seeds of my vengeance. To Ooh, yeah, there we go. Like, there's nothing you guys can do to punish you around. Yeah. You see that? Like, you yeah, and, uh, and I don't know. I was so frustrated with myself because I don't know what I was trying to hit the stone at. <laughs> I, I completely <laughs> me that I saw. Uh I you were charging and I don't know I don't know if because my mouse didn't turn fast enough as I thought. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I couldn't stun yeah. her. Yeah, and um the Rex wasn't even there, so that call should have been made and you guys shouldn't have even been there if the Rex wanted to soak and stun. So even engaging onto this was just a little bit dangerous since the Rex was not even there at all. Um but yeah, you have to head on all again and it's not as well just put it on a uh, Jaina or a Hanzo so you can get better energy. Yes, um, but the problem is they actually were not doing damage. Actually, if you said mm -hmm. that if you finish the game and you see this the score, they literally were not doing damage. Yeah, I, I mean so, I see that to be honest. So, yeah, Mongapus is doing the best damage, and the heading game is probably the best. Uh, right. So if you see, yes, Rexer is the one with the higher damage right now. Yeah. So since the your damage is both skill shot, it's gonna have a hard time dealing with the URL. She's gonna jump on your backline, and they really can't do anything if they miss their skill shots. Mm. After that, so that's where it really sucks. But having like a Rainer here or a Bala or Greymane or any of that would have been a lot better. Mm. Um, we should understand why they switched the comb. The enemy didn't literally allow them to pick their sync comb all over again. Mm -hmm. And I didn't talk Ana again, it was because they actually, after uh, Ultra I passed, they started banning my Ana. They, yeah. they started permanent banning Ana, so that's why I have to switch the healers. Yeah. Okay. Well, the thing is, you, you said you picked Ario, like second third rotation, right? So um, they should have given you a good energy recharger, like a Mephisto, yeah. even or a. I think we were um, first pick. I don't know who was. I think Malganis was first pick. I don't know, remember mm -hmm. or Jaina was first pick, something yeah. like that. But the thing is, you didn't last pick Ario, right? Yeah, and then in the then the team pick, and then you pick the others too. So so you show up mm -hmm. three picks, and I think I pick was in that moment. Okay, so when it happens, you pick Aria, just tell your team that, hey, I need a good energy um, giver for Aria. You just need a battery at that point. I, I honestly okay. don't remember. Let me see, the, because I recorded. I can't just resolve the mystery real it, fast. It, it's okay, you can look at that later. We're just going to go on with the game. It's fine. It went out. Yeah, you can keep going. You should cut the sound clip for Team Russia. Yeah, the thing is here, definitely these two damage, it, it is all poke, and I can see the value of the heroic that he wants, but like you said, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and hopefully that's going to work out. Oh, I see. No. 
But actually, they pick first Jaina, then Hansel, Maganis, and then Rex and Ariel. Okay, then yeah, yeah you kind of don't want to pick Ariel with these. Yeah, I was but highlighting want... Ariel since the beginning mm -hmm. because I was telling him the strategy with the stunts. But he uh... was trying to do his predeterminate composition. And Ooh, he that didn't. W, that's not good. Yeah, so. The level four Hanzo, you always want to take explosive errors because of the wave clear. It's probably a lot better than taking um, the monstrous one because even yes, you can clear the camps. Hanzo excels at clearing waves a lot faster and better. Mm. So you want to take explosive errors at level four. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah. If you want to play Ario, just let your team know that hey, I need a good battery. But if your team doesn't get a good battery, then just don't play Ario at all. Just change your gear. Yeah. I mean, I didn't thought it would be this bad, you know? Like, it's just gonna get- it's gonna be hard to be able to even kill somebody. Especially full W Hanzo build. Did you take Energized Core or did you take, uh... I took the energy from the tank. Uh, okay, that, that's good. Since you're heading to tank. Empathic Ling, yeah. Usually you want to take energy core, but since you're heading the tank here, which is probably doing the most damage, and that, that's. Okay. Yeah, I was doing it because I was lacking in the energy thingy. And I thought that one, so at least you could get the energy from the tank if we're going to get it from that DPS. Uh, that was a brawl, huh? Yeah, you guys can't kill anybody. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I think that was such an overextend fight for something that wasn't worth. And we actually had the chance to cap it, and and I, I remember Gola was so mad because he came out a little bit, and I was trying to go with him to try to keep him up, and I don't know, someone was at my side that was in the circle with me, and I got out of the circle, and he got out of the circle too, and didn't cap it, and we could cap it. Something like really Hello, silly happened over there. Okay. Yeah, definitely draft is an issue here on this game. A new seed is set to sprout. I can understand your frustration on this one. There's no way in hell you're going to be able to heal anybody <laughs> and get energy. Yeah. I was getting more energy from this stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised they uh, allow this map in uh, Hero Blast. Yeah, I'll be playing it. Why, why not? What, I mean, what's what's the problem with it? I mean, I can understand what her injunction, but <laughs> I don't know what's the problem with this one. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not in rank, so I'm not used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so this was another problem if you stop it right here a little bit earlier. Uh, if, you, if you put it backwards a little bit. Like a couple of seconds. I stop it right there. Okay, so if you notice, something that I'll learn with Aurel is the worst thing you can do is fight split step up. split up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why they yeah. did. We had like two in the in the top of the bush and another stoop in the bottom of the bush and, and like and also don't have any <laughs> it's like I first we had to choose like who will heal, who will live that, you know? It was so bad. Yeah, this is just unhealable. Um, so the because the, the tanks are like stalling and the DPS is trying to kill Euro, but yeah, they're not that's, killing that's Euro. The, that's the <laughs> issue, because they can't kill Euro. It's impossible to kill Euro with the DPS they crafted. It really is. Um, that's why Euro is just able to be in your back lane and do whatever she wants. She's not going to die. She's unkillable at this point. Um, yeah, it's just to have her heroic too, so. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, extra like, armor 50, oh my god. Like, this, this game is just said and done, honestly. I, I... Healer. <laughs> Correct. Uh, you guys kind of drafted the same thing here. Mm. That you did last game. Uh, Li Ming Hanzo, same thing, Jaina Hanzo. Mm -hmm. Your damage is really going to be non-existent after your abilities, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So, drafting these two are also, it's just hard. You don't want that. You want it, another hero that um was let's say a rainer or a gray main or something like that 
Um, if Hanzo an auto attack build, then maybe. I think he doesn't really get as punished as an auto attack build against this comp. Mm -hmm. But um, he went W again because of the Immortal Race, which makes sense. But then again, um, having uh, Hanzo and Li Ming together to only have poke damage and ability damage only, like, what are you going to do after all your abilities are gone and you use them? You can't do anything afterwards, or your damage is non existent. Until you get level 20 dragon, of course, but still. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably I mean, not going to happen. I mean, I I kind of do believe that he thinks the hands are kind of sustain. I remember when we were drafting, a six, I was really asking, like, I want to Ling, I want Ling. Like, he was like, really, really wanted to play Ling. He's like, okay, go ahead, play Ling. But I, I don't know what the what was was exactly the plan. I think they were planning to burn mortal or something like that. Mm -hmm. I can actually find out real quick. It's okay. Um, I see that they sent four up top, <laughs> and they're trying to erase your buildings now. Unfortunately for you guys, they actually have faster siege damage than you do. Oh yeah, I know what happened. He wanted to go Ovala, Olnara, Wizzlemean, which will be perfectly fine, but he decided to last pick Hanzo, like in the very mm. last second. Yeah, basically here, you guys just want to swap immediately and go to the top lane because the enemy team has a better siege than you do. You have Greyman, Vala, um, those two auto attackers, they can just hit structures left and right forever. And that's just a lot of damage. And you guys only have ability damage, and you have a Hanzo, which won't really siege as fast. Right. You guys can try, but I feel try like to try, but definitely, it's still... definitely wins that race. Yeah, so, actually, our siege them, damage is our Tannis, and it's in top. Mm -hmm. As soon as you saw them top, you guys needed to swap center Tannis bottom, and then you guys saw. Your siege damage is mostly non-existent either. Like, look at that. <laughs> Hanzo leaving. It's, it's the same issue you had on the Garden game. <laughs> yeah. But actually, Lumi was getting, um, it's the second spot in siege, dam in siege damage, but uh, still, then comes Grayman and Chen, and then comes the rest of us. Mm -hmm. I actually have as much as, I had almost as much as siege damage as Hanzo in that moment. Okay. I'm gonna give you some tips on Battlefield, even though they didn't occur on this game, right? Um, just to give you some overall tips on this map. Mm -hmm. When you kill a hero on the bottom lane... Yeah, you go right away for the camp. Over, you go right over for the camp. Mm -hmm. um, the tank actually positioned himself behind the camp here, oh, right? okay. And then you guys position yourself around here. And do you know why you do that? Safety and mission? No, because if the enemy team has heroes such as Li Ming or any other type of poke like Jaina and stuff oh, like that. Oh, it's going to poke the up, camp and not you. Exactly. It will help you even attack the camp. It will hit the camp instead. You won't take damage and then you guys will be able to take the camp even faster. Right. Using the camp a as an own shield. Do not know that, as the, like a shield, yeah. And it's just a little tip that um, a few people should know. That's actually a pretty good tip. Mm -hmm. Here you guys need to be careful since they rotated. Uh, that was just really upsetting that happened, honestly. You guys needed to rotate up there a lot faster so that didn't happen. No, since they rotated, um, they have five. So you guys play it safe and you have Artanis trying to catch up on Silk. Artanis rotating there is bad. He's going to miss... A lot of silk on top. That's something you guys don't want to miss. Yeah, so starting that camp, um, you usually don't want to send your offlaner to do it because your offlaner should be soaking instead. And instead, those that should be doing the camp is, is your it? auto attacker and your healer. But since you don't have an auto attacker, <laughs> um, it's harder for you. I guys guess Hanzo? At this point, Hanzo, yes, Hanzo and healer. But since they already like messed you guys up on the top four, anyways. Um, it's really hard. So in my opinion, what you guys should have done here is have Artanis still soak, give up the camp, don't take it at all, and just defend their camp first and try to catch up on the XP. Ah. But see how much XP you guys are missing. Like, look at all this. It's just going to be gone. Yeah. Yeah, so here, um, I believe you guys needed to have Hanzo just attack the immortal, and then the four of you guys try to uh, 
defend this since your race is absolutely insane. Um, like insane, like they burn it so fast. Yeah, like look at how fast you do it. <laughs> Actually, you guys almost came out even, which is surprising. The mature opponent. <laughs> Amateur opponent, that's true. Yeah, you guys can even have the Artanish race and then you guys defend because I, I do feel like they might win it. We'll see here on what's happening. Oh, they end up trying to defend you guys instead, and I'm assuming they're gonna leave one person behind. Uh -oh. It's actually pretty good that the Artanish got the camp. Um, I'm gonna contradict myself a little bit because it's pushing a little bit. But mm. so I prefer if you guys have gone the XP because well, you guys are at full level down. Yeah, you went off wrong and the minute that he should be taking the experience and taking mm -hmm. the camp. I mean he might not I think the correctly move should be like he shouldn't be doing it alone. He yeah. could help, but he could he could just help a little bit and then go just to soak them in a wave that we just saw that we missed and then mm -hmm. if he wanted to go back and help the, the whatever yeah. the piss it is in the air and you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, in my opinion, um, the best scenario is just always have a tracker healer go. In your case, probably Hanzo, and uh, have Alex go, have him keep soaking, and then play it safe bottom. Yeah, because their cam is That's pushing as well, so it's like a kind of even still. Right. Um, also here, their camp is pushing too at the same time, so it's also difficult for you guys to race because you're being pressured, but they are also being pressured at the same time. So here you either have to choose, do we clear the camp or do we give up the objective? I think you guys obviously chose to get the objective. And this is a pretty good call, to be honest. Um, you might lose a little bit here, not even that much. So just look at the positioning on the camp and see, is this camp really going to take down our entire wall? If so, then let's just do something to stop it. And if not, then let's just go for the immortal and burn it. So this is a pretty good um, call here to just go for the immortal because um, the camp's not really going to do much since it's already being hit by towers and then you have a minion wave that's going to push it anyway so that's good okay that was a pretty good dragon unfortunately you guys turned into that i got body block i literally wanted to go backwards but yeah. i couldn't get up <laughs> fight us dragon what can i say <laughs> That's a dangerous spot for you to be, though, by the way. You're always going to get stunned here. It's always good to split. Like, where Tan is this right now? That's uh, in the um, top. Mm -hmm. But um, sometimes what you guys want to do is you guys want to play around it and go around here where behind the Vala is. You see that? Yeah. And all of you don't want to be in that choke point because the Immortal is definitely going to stun all of you if you try to fight there. Yeah. Where Tan is around. is pretty good because our Tan is our Tan is. He can do that. Um, but if you guys want to actually try to engage onto them and try to finish off with mortal damage, then um, just go around. What Lee Min can also do is she can stand right here, like right behind this the wall, wall. Just poke like a and torrid. Then just throw, exactly. Just put a um, orb and whatnot. Right. But you guys are so clumped up here. You guys literally almost took two immortal stuns, which is not optimal at all. Yeah. So be careful about the visioning. Try to spread out more. I believe. Um, try not to go into that chill point. Yeah, I believe what was was going on is I honestly just used the dragon because to save VTC because I had everything in colon. So That's like true. something I always well my tutorials I always say um, if you are planning with actual anticipation to use the dragon, use your colons before actually yep. use it so you can use your Q and your yep. W all over again. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was like literally within Cologne, I'm like, okay, if I do something, this dude gonna die, I don't have heroic. So I pop off the dragon, I actually worked in a saving, but we didn't have a plan to know what to do with the dragon. There was something else that was frustrating me. Apparently, they are not used to know how to fight with the dragon. Because right. the team I was having that was with Pixa, I had in the tournament like a 70 something percent win rate with Alexstrasza and it was because my team knew when they saw that I was popping that dragon they were like turning around and just going to fight with like completely fearless because they knew they <laughs> were healing them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, So, So I used the dragon over there, it's like okay I saved it to see but I didn't get a really use of it. Mm -hmm. It just, just burned down itself over there, you know, without with any advantage. Alright. This bird is actually fucking trolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the same Muradin of the other game. The same players. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. 
Okay, I see that. <laughs> like, he is taking so much free damage, it's so unnecessary. Yeah, oh, I hate when that happened. I hate when the oh, tank that does that. Oh, slide was good, but he shouldn't have pressed W on that. <laughs> it messes up the Lee main combos. ETC yeah, should not he press put w. it closer to Lee main, so she doesn't mm -hmm. get that much damage. Exactly. ETC shouldn't press W after they slide. They should use their W after the enemy team. Oh, sorry, after your teammates um use all their abilities. Oh, that's a good slide. I feel like if you guys would have focused somebody, they would have died. Mainly the squishy target, probably the gray main or even the ball out because he's the most up front. That was a good circle too there though, because you anticipated damage coming over. So see how they took all this damage already? Mm -hmm. It's gonna pop in you on time. Yeah, no, he hit me. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have to walk away from it, yeah. which is whatever. It happens. Uh, yeah. You do your job. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, here, you guys have the same situation. You don't have sustained damage. It's all poke. After all your cooldowns are used, you can't do anything afterwards. You just are forced to back up. Yeah. You can see it. It's where, like, just three persons just... It's like a chihuahua is trying to scare you away, you know? <laughs> Your family is doing a really good job, though, to be honest, on uh, keeping the chat off. So props to him. Oh, the beating him in the solo This the camp line? is very risky. Very, very risky. Especially that your tank is, like, looking at the other side <laughs> from where you guys are. Let me let me rewind a little bit just to remember something. Oh, no, I cannot rewind. Can you rewind a little bit? Because I was watching our tannins in that moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Your tank is low. Trying to go for that camp is very, very risky. And considering that your damage isn't even like that good against theirs. Right. Unless your ETC is able to slide and catch somebody out and then Lee Ming and Hans will fall off from it, then yeah, definitely blow that up and kill them. But uh, the ETC was just way far away from you guys. You guys probably couldn't follow up with anything here. Yeah. And then you guys ended up attacking the camp too that's not good etc should have been more around inside the camp right or even behind i think he you was trying to, to find the anchor vision or something like that mm -hmm. i mean anchoring isn't that bad either but we saw them here we know yeah, we already know they're there <laughs> so, so there's no reason to anchor over here because they're probably going to turn around and try to um Got kill him so there are two scenarios here that could happen either edc backs up and helps you take the camp or you guys ignore the camp completely follow the etc wait for him to slide and burst somebody down oh Either yeah i think i like happen. better the second option mm -hmm. but here it's a little bit dangerous let's see what you guys end up doing yeah so you guys are kind of indecisive here um the leaving is doing something else there's no slide uh she got off the camp hans is on the camp you're just trying to heal <laughs> Um, so a little bit of a lot of indecisiveness uh, is happening here. Yeah, and I didn't so have my dragon decide, either. Should we do camp or do we just light somebody and follow up on that? No. EDC gets stunned and he gets silenced and he's probably dead. Yeah, see that indecisive decision right there just cost ETC his life. Yeah, the I had the Q at two seconds and W at yeah. seven seconds. The fact that he stood there, I obviously saw this all coming. He'd either die or you guys would follow up with him and get a kill. But as soon as I saw you guys start the camp and him still stay over there, I knew it was going to turn back. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like just something was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, because um, I, I see this a lot. I see this a lot on lower level games because I do um some replay reviews here and there as well to many other people and i i, I know when this happens it even happens in my games a lot too as well so i have the experience of knowing when things are gonna happen <laughs> oh, yeah now that edc gave his life away they're gonna get the camp our tannis is losing a little bit to chin he needs to be careful not to overextend on that So here you guys should have not even like you guys need to hearth, not even run there. You guys as soon as that key, uh, form was done, just press your B buttons. Yep. And then try to defend. Yeah, no, there's no way. Oh you guys no, he was calling for the objective. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Okay, you guys needed to punish them from doing this. Now it creates an awkward situation here because our Antanas is completely split from you guys, 
if the enemy decides to even engage on you, you guys are probably going to get massacred. Which I'm assuming that's what happens, huh? I, I don't remember. That's why I recorded, because I have a really bad memory. <laughs> it's okay. Yep. Our Tannis was split. You guys were running away from your tank. Always keep an eye on your tank, see what he's gonna do. <laughs> he's just walking to the chair. Okay, you guys are running away. You're regrouping. That's good. That's good. Although your Tannis had a different idea. He engaged while you guys were regrouping, and that is not good. That right there probably is gonna cost you guys the fight. So you see all this unnecessary damage our Tannis is taking now. That was that's truly really unfortunate because you guys honestly just wanted to regroup together. Now Artanis forced the fight, which cost him to be focused completely while you guys were split. You got a like, pretty good slide there. You got, you popped the dragon, which is nice. You use your W and then you use dragon. Really, really good. So you guys are actually doing quite a bit of damage to them. A really good kill there. You guys turned out really well. Yeah, and we got our easy kill too. Mm -hmm. At this point. And that's a problem. Like they got poked down. Using <laughs> yeah, a poke, mm -hmm. but they, they, they went away like so low. We, no, we couldn't finish then. Yeah, let me let me go back to that. I think it was great. Minos took off. Was really low. I knocked him for the slow, and then Ooh. he was just walk away. I think yeah, it was a took off. Easy C should have started backing up a little bit here since I'm assuming <clears throat> Yeah, all his cooldowns are gone. He's the, he has no reason to start walking up to them anymore. Um he needs to back up and wait for all his cooldowns to come back. And he starts chasing the Suga, which is not good. He gets stunned and punished for it. Yeah. He just needed to back. He had no buttons to press, he just needed to back. And then he just dies because of that. You guys almost turned that around too, that's the thing. And the scenario and just probably just want to back out of so some tense. Not even worth fighting anymore, but our tan is decided to be aggressive. But yeah, honestly, I feel like most of the mistakes that you guys are doing is on this game especially, is you guys are splitting up too much and you're allowing down trades to happen. You're allowing the enemy to push, right? Well, you guys think you can trade off of them, which is false because they have a lot more pushing power than you guys do. And thus is why you guys are having, um, are really behind in XP and why you've been, uh, losing this most of this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, so doing that camp by yourself is very dangerous. Um, I would recommend I was it. I would I was oh. calling it like like so long ago. It's like mm -hmm. because we know they are not in this spot that is right at the side of uh, the camp. We know they're finishing the camp. If we all commit, we can do the camp fast enough. Yeah, and then this is gonna happen. Yeah. But look at look how much HP was oh. left. It's like we c actually could yeah. do it. <laughs> and then, you you can tell that I was playing pace. It's like freaking do it. <laughs> yeah yeah. So let me let me just say this. Um, even if you make the right call, right. Which that was actually the right call to take. If your teammates don't follow up with it, then just don't do it. Because in the end, it's probably going to end up being a bad call in general if you wait too long to do it, right? Because the timing when you called it was right. But then since it took so long for them to get there and do it, you guys got invaded on. And then it's probably going to even put you guys further behind. So if your team decides to not even do it at all, just, just ignore them. No, I'm sorry, not ignore them. Just just don't even do it. Stop the camp and go with your team. Yeah, I was I was even, if they even if you had the right call. Even yeah, if you had the right call. Yeah, I I, I was um uh, planning of if they finish the objective and then this guy don't come, we're just gonna leave it and go to the door. I still have the time enough to leave. Yeah. So yeah, next time just just leave it. Follow your team and just leave it. Yeah. Even, even now now you see why you say that doesn't matter how more, how better you try as a healer, you kind of carry. You just delay mm -hmm. the defeat to secure the victory. Yeah. That's <laughs> For true. things like that. It, it happens, but like I said, <laughs> it is what it is. Let's see. That bullet hurt. It hurt yeah. more me than him. That's a pretty good cast you guys got there. Take 
Mm. Yeah, you guys are ignoring the Immortal completely, too, which is hard. But like I said, their team is just, it's so good at pushing that. You have to respond to either or. You yeah, they have so much behind. siege damage. Hey, that's a Dari. You guys defended it pretty well. You just needed to have someone on top to be able to clear the minions and not lose the keep. Yeah. That's a Dario. Let me go back. Yeah, they're deciding to push bot, right? But you kind of want to put most of your damage on the Immortal first, which is good. So it has Hanzo, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Just keep Hanzo there, and then you guys um, keep defending the bottom. Or, you know what's better even? To have the Artanis on it, right? Yeah, because he's melee. Yeah, you're right. Because, yeah, because Artanis is melee, and the Hanzo's range, so he can poke the enemy heroes on um, this side, where, where the enemy team is pushing the keep. You guys try to punish that. The ETC, though, keeps pressing W after his lights, which is unfortunate. Yeah, the Chen didn't let us uh, actually finish then. He knock us all mm -hmm. back in. Yeah. yeah our ten is but then we realized that he was actually disengaged and they were trying to push back again and we have to go back. Yeah, so Hanzo shouldn't have left this. As soon as you guys disengage here, you guys need to completely disengage and not lose your keep because you force Hanzo to stop his attention on the keep to arrow and then engage that fight and therefore that's what they wanted because they got to keep out of it right so the best case scenario here was just 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 back off and then clear the waves now the keep back is a bit okay i kind of got the gist of this game now so i will tell you that definitely definitely don't ever draft a cop like this again <laughs> huh, what <laughs> don't, uh, don't draft a leaving in a hunt to poke here or like that ever again oh yeah like, it's it's just it's a bad thing. i will let it go the, now. <laughs> i would ever ever draft something like this right is if it's necessary for you to poke the enemy team comp <laughs> like if the enemy team comp also has like let's say a mid-range um type of heroes like let's say gray main not gray main i'm sorry like um mephistos and all that stuff right that require you to poke them out to kill them then that's good too you know what there is some mages and i want to you know this is not related with healer but i want i want as like another opinion I think there mm -hmm. is mages that you can put it with mages because they're more like sustained mages than actual yeah, first so cooldown mage is like few. for example Mephisto is one of those is yeah, Mephisto is. can fight like for example in Boskaya that you fight in close areas mm -hmm. and the people just have to stand yeah. the ground he, he would turn more himself in more like a sustain than actually like, like a burst or or Gul'dan or even in Orphea if your fear is good correct um yeah I'd say it's possible and it's doable um Sustain mages do exist, like Mephisto is a big one. Um, but preferably, it's just better if you have a safe auto attacker, in my opinion, in most games. The safer is easier. <laughs> it's just the it's safe, yeah, it, it's easier and it's safer, and it will secure kills and it'll let your mage finish off kills too, usually. Um, it is the overall, you guys want to have fun and do double mage comp, then do a uh, Mephisto with a Li Ming. That's also possible to do. Not preferably the best thing but still it's it's okay <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um the, the problem here like i said is you guys are relying on your skills and abilities to be hit for damage and that's it what happens when all your abilities are on cooldown now you guys don't have any way to damage anymore aside from the artanis maybe but artanis isn't really supposed to be doing damage he's more of a uh, 1v1 dueler he's supposed to get in there swap people right and just try to sustain himself right but um the damage here is definitely a little bit of an issue and then um overall the the, the fact that you guys did not defend them trying to push also put you guys way behind 
You guys try to like, trade a team that trades faster than you guys, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I guess... I think what everyone thought it was the... It would take us quite a lot of time to get there. And they probably would get there, they might escape and actually already got something broke. Mm -hmm. So they will... What's that win either way for them, you know? So I think we we just decide to, 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 to gamble it and try at least to... Uh -huh. It wouldn't be as much as they do, but at least it will be something, you know? Correct. Then nothing and lose any ways. I mean, they'll be in yeah. the same quantity, but, you know. I feel like I, I, I think you guys would have been able to stop them from pushing, like, especially at the top lane. Uh, if you guys showed up and just swapped immediately. Because um, you always want to stop the team that has the highest and the fast kill pressure. Not kill pressure, I'm sorry, like Siege. Yeah. So if you see that, then just go straight for it and deny that. Even if you take a tower or a gate and all that, that's better than them taking the entire fort. Right. And then preventing you guys from taking it because you guys are taking it slower. Yeah, well, we also had an, uh, an Artanis and a DTC that could like stun or swap someone. Mm -hmm. If they actually escape it. I never remain anywhere yeah. for it would just better if you guys went over there and stopped, tried to stop them in the beginning. I can I can tell that you play Alex a lot because the way you position your um, circles sometimes, mm -hmm. and the way you, when you pop dragon is really spot on. And yeah, mostly always try to anticipate damage too, when possible when you go down your circles. Really good kill. Okay, so here your Tannis is going nuts. He needs to back up. <laughs> it's going nuts. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's just trying. Yeah, he's Ooh, gonna die. Oh, they got the burn. Here maybe. Okay. Oh, that slide was very close. But um. Our tennis would have died if the enemy actually decided to follow up on the gray main. Thankfully, they didn't and still got Mrs. Abilities. So, that's good. You know, something that I didn't and I could do, it is something I always do, and I don't know why I didn't. I could finish the kill with my cleanse flame. That's true. I... That's something I actually do a lot. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I that's didn't thought. True. Probably wasn't paying attention to how low he got. Oh no, it's because he got burst. I think he saw it. They still got burst mm -hmm. him. Can you, let me, can you put it forward and see the, the vision? Oh, you mean back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh -huh. To see... No, you just keep going. I just want to put the camera in a stick up to see if I was right and not expanding it because the stick up burst him back up. I don't think you could have finished him off here. No, not here. You'll, you'll say. You'll see. And when there. the meme pokes, that moment. See? Uh, oh, he didn't well, burst he in. I thought he burst in because I saw he dropped his, his Q, but he didn't have his trade. Okay. Um, Your Lee Ming makes a big mistake here. In fact, you guys make a giant mistake here, all of you do. Um, As soon as the Immortal lands, you need to start hitting it. Because that's a f almost like a 75% shield Immortal, right? You guys are just chasing heroes at this point. Like I said, um, they got the immortal, right? You guys attempt to get a kill. Um, after the ball of dice, you guys attempt to get the gray main. The immortal gets finished. Your Tannis, you guys try to help your Tannis. I still think your Tannis should have bought back because I think Sleepout would have been able to kill him if he properly hit his abilities. But here, right there, after that happened, you guys stop chasing. <laughs> the world is about to land, and you guys need to start defending that before it gets to your key. Yeah, you're right. So, like, right there. Nope, that's another second. That's a lot of seconds you guys are wasting trying to get some kills that aren't going to mean anything. Yeah, and we also have a camp and, pushing core. Mm -hmm. So you guys wasted so much time. Now the immortal already landed. So you're not going to be hitting that for quite a while. You guys need to get there immediately and start hitting it, you are aware the enemy team backed off. So you know for a fact they're not going to gank you or try to kill you because they backed off. You did it. As soon as that happened and you force them back, you guys run straight to the immortal and you start hitting it so you can start damaging it before it even gets to your keep. Correct? Mm -hmm. 
But what happens here, Lee Mang ends up going back. She's a little bit low, but that's fine. She needs to start hitting that immortal anyways. He needs to put damage on it. The Artanis does the same thing. <laughs> you guys need to start hitting this immediately, right now. In fact, you guys missed so many seconds on hitting the immortal. They know we're chasing it. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you that the immortal shield would have been around a half, maybe a little bit less now since yeah. you're hitting the immortal. But since you guys didn't start it hitting it at all, it's gonna be full shield by the time it gets to your um to your keep almost. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Time. And then there you go. I, right here, this thing would have had 90% health without shields. <laughs> and now it enables the enemy to attack yeah. since the attack back. Yeah, that's really that I got I got with self kill in there because yeah. of my position of but I never thought they will re-engage like the way they did it. Uh -huh. That's the thing. Um, you know why your, your position was bad there? Because you guys were hitting the immortal from behind instead of from the front where you should have been start hitting it before you guys started chasing. So you, all your team put you in that bad position <laughs> because you guys were chasing them. And then the way how the rotation works is the immortal starts walking forward, right? And you guys are behind the immortal, so you guys have no choice but to head up behind it so you can start damaging a little bit. Therefore, the enemy team is able to engage on you even easier because you guys are behind it. Hence is why you're in this situation. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah. So, pretty much your entire team put you in this situation. <laughs> hey, remember when you died? Oh, it burns me down so bad. That Grayman, I always thought that Grayman bullet has such a few cooldown for the quantity of damage that it does. Yeah, it does, but I don't know. <laughs> he's not well rounded here. I still think he's pretty balanced. Oh, that's unfortunate. Did you have dragon there? Yeah, I was trying to cast it, but I got literally built down trying to cast in it. They literally killed me in like one second. And you can cast that in 1.5 seconds, something like that. Oh my god, he's fighting more. Oh, you mean my trade or my heroic? Your dragon. Where are you? Oh, you're dead. That's why I can't find you. Yeah, I was dead. <laughs> yeah, remember they caught me there in the rotation that I was mm -hmm. expecting? Oh, you didn't have it. Okay. Oh, the game didn't end there? I thought it would end. <laughs> yeah, they overshoot a little bit. Like I said, the Immortal isn't that strong. It's a level sort of Immortal. Mm. But it, it, it looks strong because it had a lot of shields on it. Yeah. Right, so here you guys are looking for an engagement. Um, your Tannis is on the other side. It's not bad, he's our Tannis. He's just um, a little bit too ham sometimes. But, but, <laughs> but you guys need to be a little bit closer to your ETC, right? In case he gets a slide, you guys can follow up on that. Most of your assassins, though. You should slide that Murda, and he should have been instantly dead right now. Did he have slide? No, he know. didn't. I don't know what he used it on. Let me see what he used oh, it he on. Oh, he had it up. Well, in the moment I saw, he had it up. I think it's number You'll six. Yeah, ATC yeah. is number six. What did he use light on? Ah, uh, the Chen. Yeah, okay. He should be aware that his teammates are nowhere nearby. That slide would do absolutely nothing for him, since he have nobody nearby to be able to follow up. Plus, it's a Chen. Can I get away with this unstoppable anyways? That's kind of not the target you really want to look for to slide. Oh, okay. do you see that? Mm -hmm. The what W made Lemin combo missed. Ah. Uh, Just like, yeah. like if you can put backwards like two seconds, you'll see it. 
He knocked he knocked uh the Chen out of uh, Liming combo. And that's why he didn't get burned. Choose a talent. Just right after his Q. So yeah, his teammates are nowhere nearby. He shouldn't have cast this slide. So there you go. Yeah. Then Lemine mm -hmm. pops the combo, and then he used the W. Ah, uh, yes. Even then, I think the Lee Ming wouldn't have hit it, because the slide was just um, too early before Lee Ming even got there in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was kind of messy, me. I don't know. Because he, the Chen used his Q and he wants to get out by using the ETC body. If he uses his ETC body, we'll get the heat anyways. Okay. I'm assuming this is the last you can find. Let's see what goes wrong. Oh, obviously the damage since <laughs> it's all ability damage. Once everything is used, you don't have any more damage. So the, uh, the Hanzo shouldn't even be up there, to be honest. He's going to get slid and he's probably going to get barreled. Um, yeah, the assassins and the tanks and the healers, you guys are separate. So, this isn't good. The assassins should be with you guys, or you guys should be with the assassins. Right here. Yeah, they are I'm separate pretty sure, again. Pretty sure Hanzo is dead here with a barrel. Can guarantee it. Um, but, um, yeah, this split right here, it shouldn't have happened. Oh, he got that mosh, and oh, I was trying no. to contest the mosh, and then the DPS was down there. You, you don't want to mosh a tank like that by himself, especially when you see your assassins uh, getting absolutely decimated by a uh, giant panda. <laughs> so, yeah. The, the mistake here was um, the Hanzo splitting off and then stepping up, right? The Ming was okay since she was like more like in the middle around you guys, but she was still pretty split for me guys. But the ETC's, t the ETC's mistake here was trying to mosh that and trying to get some damage here when he needs to be aware that his damage isn't even around him. Yeah, so Artanis gets barreled. I don't know why he didn't barrel Hanzo. Hanzo should have been dead there with an immediate barrel. And he had it up to check. You pop a dragon. I feel like here you just need to start um, using your ult and help your Tannis. Mm -hmm. Or or the um, Li Ming after you press Q. On him. Yeah, I was trying to protect the, the assassins mm -hmm. at that moment. And then here I just press a W and then just fly up and try to help your Tannis from dying. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think in that moment I wasn't okay. aware where the fuck our Tannis was, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I think let's fix that. You guys need to start working more on your formations, on knowing where everyone is on your team. <laughs> Especially EDC. He needs to be aware before he slides. If my team damage is there before I slide so they can follow up or do a mosh. And you, then yeah, you just anticipate damage, try to heal them off. And with Alex, unfortunately, since her cooldowns are pretty large, right? It's, it's hard to like be able to keep sustain healing up. So that's why it's key to have um, you to anticipate damage and press W. Yeah, she have a C lot people. burst. And yeah. that's why I was talking earlier before about the confidence when you use the healer. Because the people need to know how much is the cooldown of your pop-up. And in order to re-engage the team fight, because the team might feel like they're gonna lose the team fight, they will start retreating. But then you put the dragon and you drop a ton of healings on the end, and they just like just get back in there, you know? Because they're gonna have the double W and the double Q, so that's basically two W's gonna heal like the whole team back up, you know? I think that uh, sorry, I interrupt you. The other thing I don't understand, like. The logic of Liming to pick Liming in this map, because she's of course not a sustain, is to puck the immortal from a safety distance. Thing that I believe the Chromie does it better, but well, I don't know, people are like the Ming, but... So, uh, you, you can still, you have the Liming and you're not, you're not poking the immortal, you can still do it in safety, especially if I'm there giving you the vision, you know? Yeah. Yeah, y you can. But honestly, um, the best thing you can do, as, as your point of view here, as the healer, is you're tied down to your team, honestly. That's how it works, unfortunately, most 
to be able to hit that either. It's hard to actually get a good slide on Chen and to punish him because with the damage that he have, it's not really that consistent either. Mm. So, setting to Chen, it, it's good in most scenarios, but here it's hard because once you use your abilities, then you don't have anything else, like I said. Mm. But the Chen could have died there <laughs> if the uh, Li Ming was a little bit closer. Yeah, I think she was scared from Greyman. Oh, and then EDC really pushes hard. Let's see what happened here. That's something I see commonly here. When you guys use your buns, right? And your abilities, and then you guys keep pursuing when you don't have anything. And you guys are just taking free damage. Okay, so here. If the Lee Ming was closer... Oh, no, it's a W. It's a W. It's still a hit, but still... Yeah, but it wasn't the maximum damage that he should receive. Uh -huh. Because he received the damage of the W, but he didn't receive the damage of the Q. So EDC has no abilities here. There's no reason for him to engage anymore. But he keeps trying to do it. And he's going to pay the price for that, see? He doesn't have any abilities. So now you see why it's important to have heroes that also have sustained damage. Because imagine if this was your backline and this was your Sylvana. I'm sorry, what, I don't know why I call them Sylvanas. Your Li Ming mm -hmm. or your Hanzo, right? After they're done using their abilities, look at all that free damage you're going to take. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. So you see here in his scenario, he should have backed up as soon as he uh, used his buns. And after he saw that, oh, I couldn't get a good engagement on, so let me just back up, wait for them to come back up, and then I can re-engage with my abilities. So he ends up dying because of that. And um, now you guys are getting run over. It's unfortunate. I'm assuming this is where you guys lose the game. Hmm, they're murdered and left. Oh. Yeah, he, they paused the game like two times. Okay. 